Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Hagrid, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. So these are the broilers that I took to show you guys how to brood broilers from day old to maturity. And the last time I took their weight was when they were seven days old. And now they are two weeks old. We are going to be checking the weight so you know what we have as the weight. And apart from that, if you have listened to my comparison video on the COP500 Rusty weight, you would notice that I mentioned that the COP500, especially the Zatec COP500, are not the best in the cold in the rainy season they are not the best to have in the rainy season you may be having some challenges with crd and today i'm going to be showing you if you listen well you will hear a little bit of sneezing and it's because it has actually surprised it was more than this before so very quickly i'll be showing you also the medication that i have been using for a few days now and has been working so in case you have zatek boilers and you have some challenges with them you can also use something like that and i trust it's going to work for you so we're going to be talking about the weight we're going to be checking the weight together as we did before and then i will be showing you that medication also a lot of changes have occurred here the litter here too is kind of due for a change maybe not not so not so bad because of the charcoal that is there it's really helped but then some part of it some part of it you know at some point i was lazy to rake it so some part of it needs uh, a change so i'm just going to change everything so and also i have removed these feeders they are not useful here again they have outgrown this uh even though because of the few brahmas that i have i would have removed it before now and also you know they are going to be using this i have some extra Apart from this two, so I'm going to be adding maybe one more for this age. I'm going to be adding one more. Change the liter, you know. And again, this gas, you know, we are done with brooding. I've stopped giving them it. And many people will think that this will consume so much gas. But, you know, throughout this brooding period, I only used a 12.5 kg cylinder. And um, we are done. At six days, I think at six days was the, was the last time I pro provided them with supplemental eat in the night. And then again, I did that uh, two days ago because the weather was extremely cold. I think three days ago. But now they are fine. They are fine. They can thermoregulate. At least they can do that and they would not need any eat again. And we could just say that the 12.5 kg cylinder gas worked for the whole brooding period so right now i'm going to be weighing them and let's see the weight that we would get let's see the weight if you can remember i think week one was um 197.5 or so so now let's see what we will get let's see what we'll get very quickly Okay, so let's see what this guy would weigh. Okay, this is zero as you can see.
okay guess what i'm done checking the weight of um 10 of them 10 10 percent is still a very representative sample size and we have 523 grams as the average average weight that may not be the best weight you want to get but in a flock where you have been treating crd and all that and then the the goal is not really to get the maximum weight if you ask me the goal is not to get the maximum weight and the no growth promoter yet nothing i've not added anything just their feed and the zatec breed so if you look to that angle that's the calculation there we have 595 we have 425 510 565 540 505 515 610 there's one giant there 610 and 515 450 so that's divided by the total of that divided by 10 we have 523 grams as the average weight so that's it another update i would like to drop with you guys is the fact that at the point when i changed to this feed they they were reluctant they were reluctant to eat it the other feed finished on day 12 stroke 13 so i changed to this uh pellet they were using crumble before when i changed to this pellet they were reluctant to eat so that also would affect their weight on a normal day it's supposed to the weight i'm um on a normal day i'm supposed to change the feed after two weeks so i'm supposed to take the weight with that um with the crumble but they were not eating as much as they would have eaten if they were still eating the crumble when they changed to this uh pellets most of them were not eating that much so it affected their weight also so that's just the update that's the update and um that's all we have for today so if you're here to subscribe to the channel this is a place where you can learn a lot about poultry farming and um you do well to subscribe to the channel hit the like button if you think you like the content and also hit the notification bell so you get updates when new videos are posted thank you very much bye <music>